Shalom, it's Kadash. Coming back with another one. You know, I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kadash. Double homage to the apostles at Great Millstone. Be blessed and honors to all the brothers in this truth, spreading it in righteousness. So, um, Israel, Jake, Jacob, back at it again. You know, round two. Jacob strike, strikes back. This is round two. So let's hear hear what the um you know the brother gotta say, you know, even though he's obviously not in the truth. Big Joe, it's your boy Big C coming at you live. I ain't seen you in a while. Peace and blessings to everybody. Uh stand up. Stand up. Shout out to Impact. Not fucking around coalition. Yeah. I like that. I'm with that. You know, a lot of, um, when I first came on this internet, man, and I was uh, trying trying to, you know, it's a lot of information on the internet. So I was gravitating towards the revolutionaries and um, the people talking that revolution stuff. And I quickly found out that a lot of that stuff was just uh, people looking for it. Um, Looking for attention and trying to get some money out of folks and narcissism. You know, one thing that destroys new movements is disorder and chaos. And I see a lot of chaotic stuff in the um, conscious community. When I came on this internet, it was nothing but funking and talking about each other, gossiping, backbiting, and sucker shit. So, this, in fact, this is what it needs, this is what needs to happen. You know, the Panthers, I'm from Oakland, California. And you know, Oakland is the home of the Panthers. And we've always been um, revolutionary guys out here in, in trying to uh, attain a black community that's striving and um, eating with each other, you know? In, in, in prison, the Mexicans, they eat together and they, they, they come together, they follow their rules, they got, they got, they got order. And, and, and if you've ever been to prison, you know it's hard to go up against that type of coalition, you know? Uh, when you go to a job, the safety manual is the first thing they hand you. So if you want to build a community, an African-American community like Chinatown, like um, little, little Italy or something like that, little Chocolate City, you know, there's got to be some order. There's got to be some security. we got to protect ourselves. You cannot ask a bully to stop bullying you. It's, it's, it's in its nature to be a, a, a bully. So you have to defend yourself. And most of the time, when you fight a bully and, and, and give it to him, he stopped that shit. You know? But how can you fight a bully when you ain't even got yourself together? That's like you being all, um, you know, emotional, unstable, and then you're trying to go against that bully. Well, you could, you could think that you're tough all you want. That bully's going to wipe you across the playground. You know, he's, he's going to he's gonna beat your ass across the playground, you know. But you got to go and recruit yourself. You know, you have to get your spirit right. That's why we say this is not carnal. This is spiritual. We have to we have to get ourselves together and learn our heritage first. We need to come back to our Lord and our Lord is going to come back and he's going to do that work for us. And he's going to use us and give us the power to do that work. You need to humble them. I've had fights growing up with some of my partners and they, they used to try to bully us Whoop. simple minded this is not a movie man oh just just because a bully bullying you you step up to him then you humble him that's not how it always happened i've seen plenty of people get bullied and they stepped up and they got their ass kicked <laughs> hey, ass. now we're the best of friends we got understanding you know what i'm saying but if, if you just keep letting somebody run over you and do anything to you and asking them, asking them to stop, and um, and everybody knows you never beat the bully at his own game. You find a clever way to beat the bully. And our way, which the Lord said, is 
keep the law, statutes, and commandments, and the bully, he going to go down anyways, you know? Complaining and not doing nothing about it, it's not going to stop. You got to make that motherfucker stop. You got to kick his ass. Somebody got to get their ass kicked. You just can't keep taking the um, losses and forgiving. Don't forgive nobody who tries to harm you because they're harming your kids, they're harming your mama, they're harming your brother, your sisters. They don't have no, no fucking um, understanding and no compassion for your situation. You know, we got to have this. We got to take care of ourselves, you know. I see these brothers, um, they, they, they criticized, they was criticizing um, the revolutionaries, the, the people revolutionary minded. Since the 90s, the 80s, the, the 70s, you look at um, the, 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 the media and the um, comedies, I'm blacker than black. You look at um, In Living Color. They was trying to clown the next British people. And, 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 and they came home to handle their business, you know? So you laughed at the revolutionaries. You've been laughing at us. We've been saying this shit back in the day. That's, that's before disaster. Uh, go look at those songs next to Ken, um, Ghetto Poetry. Been on this internet for all this time. All they've been doing is talking. They ain't did shit. You know? He talking about us. He gonna mention it. One thing we have, we have a we have a security unit in the town called Power Circle. I I, I, I network with a bunch of security units. I'm not no damn police. I'm an ex felon. You know what I'm Events and shit like that. We, and then at this coming, what's going on nowadays, we really need security, even just to go come and I operate with another um, license. And, and, and don't use them weapons against your people. But don't your firearm concealed carry license. And, and, and don't use them weapons against your people. But don't use them weapons in offense unless no, no don't use them in, uh, just to intimidate and fuck up the community use them <clears throat> for in the defense of our people and of, of yourself you know it's, it's gonna get it's gonna get more serious than this you he right about that and i'm happy he um brought out the weapons thing this is second corinthians Chapter 10, a classic. Verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but the mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. The Lord is going to do it for us. Our weapons are not carnal. Truth and falsehood up against each other, and truth will demolish falsehood every time. It's an it's a Islamic quote. Out of, out of the Quran. It's He's right about that, but it's a Hebrew quote. Where do you think they got it from? The last say, if you throw truth and falsehood together up in the air, truth will bust falsehood's head. You know? And that's what's happening, man. If that came out, they was the truth. You know? And now the falsehood is being revealed. All these other niggas uh, going at each other. I'm, I'm sure in the future, they're going to be trying to come at them, them fellas, you know. But I want to hook up with them, you know, because we all should be linked up. In every city across the country, across the world, Africans should be linked up with each other, organizing. We need shit. All we have to do across the world, we can, everybody can put in a dollar and start a financial institution. It's 50 million, that would be 50 million to start off in America. You no? Know? But we don't want to do that. We want to talk shit. But you're going against the man that face is on the dollar, that prints the dollar, that created the dollar, that controls the dollar. So you're going to use his own. How does that make any sense, man? Simple minded. And follow the 
customs and the culture that was given to us out of um, depression and suffering and trauma. And we want to keep perpetuating that shit and passing that stupid shit on to our kids. That ain't no manhood shit. You know, in order to be a man, you got to create something. You got to create something good. You can't just create some bullshit on sand. You got to build a strong foundation on some truth. And we ain't doing that. Until we stand up and be men, <clears throat> they gonna kick you in your ass, tell your ass to run it along, stand on your neck, shoot you for nothing. Don't even wake you up in your car when you sleep. They don't know if you got a legal permit to carry the firearm or not. They just going to kill you. You know? <clears throat> and then these motherfuckers on this internet, some of these motherfuckers is, is uh, promoting Donald Trump and um, this racist agenda. And they supposed to be black revolutionaries. And they going against the real revolutions. It don't make no sense, man. You know, we've been out here, we've been out here trying to protect our people, trying to um, move us on to something more, more, um, more tangible than just some rep and some um, swagger and some motherfucking bullshit and some goddamn music. You know, we need more than that. <clears throat> we need schools, hospitals, by us. That's what it is, man. You guys, boy, um, you utilize the, the safety book, safety groups, community safe, you know? But it's, we got a lot of people that don't give a fuck about the community or the people that don't have to shit or get off the pot. Yeah. But that's what it is, man. Shout out to Air Fact, Grandmaster J. Peace and blessings to you. Bringing people. We, we, we're supposed to come together, whether you're a Muslim or a Hebrew or um, whatever you is. A New Apian or... I mean, well, there, there you have it, you know. I just wanted to get to that part, you know. The Hebrews always have to be mentioned in, in something, man, you know, and really a lot of these dudes are set up, man. They're, they're agents and they're set up and it goes along with the scriptures. I don't know if he's an agent himself or maybe he's just being led, but the ones at the top, man, that's starting this whole thing with Grandmaster Jay and all that, man, those are agents, man, and they're set up to start this war, man. It's going to be a lot of slaughtering and what it's going to do is... It's going to make it hard for all our people. That's why us at the Hebrew, we're non-violent. We don't have to pick up their weapons and use their stuff to go against them. This is a spiritual war, man. Before it's a physical war. You know, we don't want to go out there and promote violence and then get brothers um, in the jam. Get brothers um, taken away from their families and get killed and stuff like that. That's what they're going to do. You know, but they look at us like, okay, y'all been on the internet talking all this stuff, but y'all ain't doing nothing. But we are doing something. Look, look at what's... What's then? What's then? Came from all this. You have Israelite groups all over the world. You have brothers all over the world. The average person knows that he's a Hebrew Israelite. He even mentioned it. The average person knows about the Hebrew Israelites. Now you can ask anybody. Have you heard about the Hebrew Israelites? Yeah, yeah. Shalom. We be at camp. Random people driving by now talking about Shalom. We had a brother the other day at camp said he um he drove by. He said Shalom Yahweh Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. So he knew the Lord's name. You think something ain't coming from all that? We ain't got to go physical and stuff like that, man. But it is prophesied to happen. Second address, chapter 15, verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. And that's, this ain't talking about ancient Egypt. Verse 11 proves it. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and will smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. See, Egypt was only smite with plagues one time when the Israelites were there in captivity. That's in the book of Exodus, 
you know, with Moses when they got up out of there. So when he says, I'm going to smite Egypt again, I mean, no, he says, well, I'm going to smite Egypt as before, meaning that he's going to smite Egypt again. That means that he's talking about another land where the Israelites dwell at. And he's referring to it as Egypt because it's spiritually Egypt. It's the same thing the Israelites are in bondage under. You know, so verse 10 again, behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. And this is prophecy being fulfilled. But the elect should not be deceived. You know, shalom, salvation to the elect.